Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about something in B1 called plant growth hormones. Now what these are, these growth hormones are, in plants, they are these things that allow the plant to grow. So in the shoot of a plant, the auxins are made near the tip. Now these auxins, these hormones, are just chemical messengers that allow the shoot to grow. So they encourage growth. When they're produced in the tip, they diffuse backwards, they diffuse backwards and encourage growth. So they encourage elongation of the shoot and for it to grow. Now, when we have a light introduced, so let's say this was a light bulb right here, um, the light actually causes some of the auxins to break down. So the auxins will accumulate on the other side, on the dark side from the light. This causes this side to grow faster and this side to grow slower. Because this side is growing quickly, because it's got a higher concentration of auxins, and because this side is growing slowly, because it has a lower concentration of auxins, because it's been broken down by the light, we can see that this, this shoot is going to start to grow towards the light. Now this is advantageous to the plant because if it gets more light, it can get more light energy for photosynthesis, so therefore it'll be able to make more glucose. Now this phenomenon of growing towards the light is called positive because it's towards the light and then phototropism. Photo to do with light, tropism meaning growing, uh, growing, so growing towards the light. Now a classic experiment they like to show in exams is this here. So let's imagine we've got three different plants in three different conditions, okay? So my first one is just completely normal. Nothing's been done to this one at all. This one here has had the, sh the top of the shoot cut off. Now this one here, it hasn't been damaged, but they've put a foil hat on it that doesn't allow any light to, um, to reach this, the uh, shoot. So what they then say, that they like to say, let's say, say this light bulb now is shining this way, so the light is coming that way within our experiment. What would happen to each of these and why? So what would happen to this one on the left is the light would break down the auxins on this side, so we'd have an accumulation of auxins on the dark side. That will cause this side to grow quickly and this side to grow slowly, which means this one would start to grow towards the light. Positive phototropism. Now this one here, because it's had the shoot cut off, the top of the shoot cut off, it's not producing any auxins at all. Because it's not producing any auxins at all, it will not grow. Remember, auxins are plant hormones, plant growth hormones, that help the plant to grow. So without them, it's not gonna grow. Now this one, because it hasn't had the shoot cut off, it's still going to grow because it's still going to be producing auxins. However, this one, because we've, it's wearing, uh, it's, it's got the foil um, kind of hat on it, this one isn't going to be affected by the light, which means the auxins are just going to diffuse backwards down the uh, chute, and it's just going to encourage growth this way. So this one would just go di grow directly upwards. So, just to recap, plant growth hormones help plants to grow. The specific name of them, oh, I haven't even written it down yet, actually, is auxins. That's the name of the uh, plant growth hormone. Um, they accumulate, auxins accumulate in the dark side, so away from the light, and they encourage growth. And positive phototropism means growing towards the light. Thank you.